Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. Okay, so I'm looking at this interesting exponential function from Russian Math Olympiad. Okay, the question is how to solve if x squared minus y squared is equal to 9, and x times y is equal to 3, then what's the value of x plus y? Okay, so if you think about the basics, right? Just by taking a look at this first condition, x squared minus y squared is equal to 9. The first thing you can think of is you can use this formula, x square minus y square is just equal to x plus y times x minus y, right? But the other condition is based on x times y is equal to 3. So if you use this formula right here, it doesn't really help to get your x plus y because we do not know what is x minus y, right? So that is why now we need to focus on this condition, x times y is equal to 3. So for this, for this condition, we can rewrite this in terms of the y, right? So if you divide your left and right hand side by dx, then we can say your y is equal to 3 over x, right? And then we can plug it in this y value, 3 over x, into this y to make your equation. So if you rewrite this first condition, then we have x squared and then minus... 3 over x squared, this is equal to 9. Okay, let's distribute. If you go ahead and distribute this, then we will have x squared uh, minus 9 over x squared, this is equal to 9. Now if you multiply x squared on the left and right hand side, then it should be now x to the power of 4 minus 9 is equal to 9x squared. So that's why we can rewrite also this as x to the power of 4 is x squared squared. So that's why we can put this as x squared squared and then minus 9x squared. Minus 9 is equal to 0. So for this equation, your uh, the focus is, has to be now x squared, right? But this cannot be nicely factored out using only the integer. So we'll be using quadratic formula just to get not the x but x squared first so x squared is then equal to using the quadratic formula then we have 9 plus minus square root of 81 minus 4 times 1 times negative 9 and then over 2 times 8 that is equal to 2 right so this turns out to be now 9 plus minus square root of 117 over 2. But we need to remember that this value has to be x squared, something squared. So it should not be negative. That means we only need to take this positive sign, right? So that is why we can specify x squared is only 9 plus square root of 117 over 2. Which means then your x value is then now plus minus of square root of the entire thing, 9 plus square root of 117 over 2. This has to be your x value to consider. Okay, <clears throat> so then we can actually move on to your first condition, right? So from x times y is equal to 3. Now we can go back to this condition x times y is equal to 3 and then x turns out to be uh, plus minus of this radical square root of 9 plus square root of 117 over 2 but then again x is one of them is positive the other is negative that means x and y should have the same sign if x is positive y should positive if x is negative then y should be negative 2 because their product is a positive number okay so that's why uh, from this if your x is equal to Let's first only consider this positive value, right? Square root of 9 plus square root of 117 over 2. If you multiply y to it, right? If you multiply y to it, it should be equal to 3. That means what we can figure out for now is x times y has to be equal to 3, which is square root of 9, right? So we can think about how your y value is also the square root. And then if you multiply 
this whole value 9 plus square root of 117 over 2 with whatever expression that it, that in that is inside of square root for the y it should be equal to 9 right so that is going to be our goal meaning 9 plus square root of 117 over 2 multiply by whatever expression that we have inside of the square root it should turn out to be 9 right then we can think about how this 117 which is the number inside of your square root right and then 9 squared is 81 if you subtract 117 and 81 that is equal to 36 if your expression inside of the square root is a fraction with a denominator of 4 that turns out to be 9 right so that's why we can think about the expression inside of the square root has to be a fraction with the denominator of 2 because we are looking for the denominator of 4. That means we need to multiply another 2 to this 2. And then since we just double checked that 117 minus 81 is 36, which we're looking for, right? So this is the time we need to look we need to work on this formula once again. So that's why we can have your numerator, it should be then negative 9, right? Negative 9 plus square root of 117. This is going to be the value of the y, right? Okay, so this is going to be the value of the y based on our work, right? And then, like I said, it's only going to be your sign. If x is positive, y is positive. If x is negative, y is negative too. And this also applies to our equation too, right? So that is why we can simply say x has to be uh, plus minus of this and then y should be also same sign followed by the x sign right okay but then again we are looking for x plus y not only just for the x or just for the y but we are looking for x plus y so we can focus on how x plus y square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2 times xy. We already have the value of the x or y, right? So now we need to square your x and y separately. That means the sign doesn't really matter. It's always positive. So x squared is just going to be equal to then 9 plus square root of 17 over 2. And then the y squared is just going to be equal to plus and then negative 9 plus square root of 117 over 2 and then we already have x times y is equal to 3 condition from the question so plus 6 now if you add those two fractions right if you add those two fractions then 9 and negative 9 cancels out and we will have 2 times radical 117 over 2 plus 6 simply cancel those twos out so your answer has to be now square root of 117 plus 6 right but this is only for x plus y squared so we're not done yet that means your x so this is equal to x plus y squared but we are looking for x plus y right so one more step your x plus y is then going to be plus minus of square root of this whole thing square root of 117 plus 6. This has to be the final answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting question from Russian Math Olympiad.